All right. Um, yeah, this is another uh, PayPal patron from Lydia, uh, Chris Cornell. And I've been actually meaning to do this for ages. But, yeah, she sent it in the Chris Cornell email. So, I'll just, instead of just picking ones at random, I just went down. Um, but, yeah, Be the Beatles cover, uh, Ticket to Ride. Which is one of them Beatles songs that you forget about, but then when you hear it, it is a tune. It is a tune. But let's see, because he's doing this, I think, on his own. I think this is a solo performance of Ticket to Ride, so this should be interesting. So, yeah, let's go. This next song, um, I'm going to dedicate this to my daughter, Tony. This, I just learned this. I can't really play it, but I was messing around with it in, in our house. Um, you know how people sing in the shower? I actually rehearse in the shower. Um, I go in there with a the guitar and, and I play it. And so my kids come up and they look at me because it's a weird thing. And they, and they, I don't know, they just look at me funny, curiously. And it doesn't matter what I tell them. They just think it's weird. But anyway, I was just, I started playing these notes and my daughter, Tony, came up and she's seen me play uh, songs tons of times. And I started playing these notes and she looked at me um, and she actually kind of almost blushed and it was like this magic moment and she said how do you make that sound I don't know how you make that sound um, and she was just really into it and this is the song and so I'm just gonna do it before we go into that doesn't that show you the power of the Beatles that a child that doesn't even understand what they're hearing just goes, what is that? Like, it just resonates with people. Uh, but yeah, let's go.
Was incredible that was truly incredible sequence of game was on point and i wasn't expecting that sequence a bit but how he got that with the that sounded so beatily how he did the sliding notes over that riff so beatily like yeah that was more beatles than the beatles just that loop that he made with the yeah, so that sounded like he proper captured the Beatles on that end bit and then went for Chris Cornell vocals. That was great. I wish I'd done that one sooner. That was great. If there's any question about Chris Cornell's genius, just show him this video. Like, th yeah, this was incredible. And I'm very, very critical when it comes to Beatles covers. But you can tell with Chris Cornell, he truly is a fan of the Beatles. He's got their nuances down. Um, which you only become like that if you if you are a genuine fan and kind of lived inside of their music for a while. But that was that was so so good. Yeah. I'm kind of amazed by that. Um, yeah, was not expecting that ending, but the whole thing was fire. His take on it, slowing it down like that, and his voice, like, that's a very, like, Beatles songs are very hard songs to sing. Normally because there's multiple voices going at once in a Beatles song, so you're trying to do the low and the harmonising at the same time, but I think Chris Cornell nailed that. He really, he he's probably my favourite. Beatles coverer, <laughs> if that's a word.
because I've done a few of his, and yeah, he just, he's got the right voice for it too. He smashed that. He smashed that. Yeah. Yeah, great. The man is just a genius. There's no other word for him, really. He's he's a bona fide genius. But yeah, great, great um, cover. Very very good. But yeah, that's the that's the reaction. Sweet. 